All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Holy Potatoes, a spy story. Uh, so, I guess, bit of a preamble. Uh, I'm, I guess I owe a lot to this studio. Um, just because the Holy Potatoes Weapon Shop, I think, was, like, one of the first mega series I ever did. Where I, I think it shot, it catapulted me from, like, 5,000 subs to 10,000, more or less. And so, anytime a Holy Potatoes game comes out, I, I pretty much have to play it. So, I believe this is just the beta. Uh, the full version comes out in a couple of weeks? Month? I'm not actually sure what the timeline is. Uh, but so they gave you gave me, effectively, a preview copy uh, to mess around with. So we're gonna do just that. I'm impressed at how many of these games that they just churn out. Uh, let's see. This may sound weird, but my mechanical arm's been making funny noises. I swear it's been talking to me. Okay, I'm gonna turn off auto. We got a log so we can see what the chat is. Awesome. No one must know about this. It would totally ruin my cool guy image. Ha! Ah, I heard that. Uh, I heard that, Ren. A talking arm? Forget what I said. Nothing just happened. Uh, what you looking at, Billy? Ah! No nothing! Nothing, I'm sure. That looked like an excellent blackmail material. Uh, that looked like excellent blackmail material. Did you post that yourself? What? Of course not. Haven't you seen Tastebook? G. Lan and his gang totally got me. What? This? We are immediately just diving right into this one. Why not? Oh, the big G. I heard he steals and extorts lunch money from the young spudlings as well. I don't know how to stand up to him. You can. You just got to throw a few punches right in his acupoints. Throwing punches isn't an al always the best solution. Alternatively, I can build Billy a non-lethal Turbiox Palm Squeezer Pistol, designed to be easily concealed and also great for self-protection. Yeah. Oh. The arm is talking. Yes. Yes. You need to be armed. Armed? Huh. Wait. Did your arm just talk? You're going to get Billy expelled. The pistol's a terrible suggestion. Though not nearly as terrible as the joke that came after her. Anyway, we have to f find more sneaky ways to take down big potatoes like him. <laughs> the ghost of Tomatoes, uh, Tomatoes Edison has bestowed upon me a flash of genius through telepathic brainwaves. Not again. Can you just say I've got an idea? Ahem. As I was about to say before, I was rudely interrupted. Let's set up our own spy agency. Uh, what's going to be our, our agency name? Um... I was thinking, like, uh, obvious operations. I mean, we could go with Fish, but I think I've named, like, every single one of mine the Fish so far. Um, fish Tatoes, Fish Corp. People really like the Fish. Let's hope it's more management, like, uh, Weapon Shop. I think this game's supposed to be more management style. They're going back to their roots a little bit. I think so. I'll be your first client! Okay, let's hire our first spy. Click on the Spy Academy. Uh, it's- <laughs> It's-a me, Super Maria! Wow. Mama, Mama Maria, isn't she the go-kart racer from the racing team Super Maria Sisters? Okay, let's see how good she is. Four stats of Aspire, Fight, Intelligence, Stealth, and Charm. You can view the spy's job class spe specialization by hovering over the info icon. Okay, so she's an analyst. Super Maria, seems like she's a promising candidate. Let's hire her. Okay, time to enhance our spy. Since Super Maria is an analyst, let's boost her intelligence even more. Online courses, eh? Let's a go. I'm not going to. I can't accent. Success! Look at how much more intelligent Super Maria has become. Okay. Welcome to our spy agency, Super Maria. <laughs> Time to make preparations for our first mission. How will we gather some information about G Lan first? Maybe we can use something against him. My superior brain cells have been activated to achieve the peak of enlightenment. Not again. Next time just say I've got another horrible idea. Hey! You haven't even heard it yet. All we need is one of my greatest inventions of all time. Spy booger! We just need to plant this little bugger booger in... Oh, G Ian. G Ian? I don't know. Anyway, in Ian's room and we'll soon have some dirt on that spud. 
That's quite disgusting, but it might do the trick. Ren, Ren, don't ever use my fingers to pick your nose. It does make some tiny booping noises, but I don't think he'll notice. Let's go. Okay. We have a new mission. Mission list displays all of our available missions. Let's head to the mission hub. Mission hub, select spy. Okay, we need to spend a, send a spy on the mission. Select a spy. Super Maria chose you. Okie dokie. Okay, spy will face obstacles during the mission. Let's plan our course of action. Okay, this almost actually reminds me of the, uh, the expeditions from, um... Cultist Simulator, but more control. Okay, the bull guard's weakness is intelligence. That's also our spy's highest stat. So let's use an intelligence-based action trick. Okay, next one. A nonchalant guard. Uh, he's resistant to intelligence, but weak against stealth. So let's use stealth-based action. Evade. Good. This is a low-risk mission. Risk level is calculated based on spy stats and actions chosen. The higher the risk, the more likely the mission will fail. All right, enough planning. Let's go. All right. So, is that it? Okay. This is this is the mission log. It shows us the effectiveness of the actions we cho choose. This is the su suspicion meter. If the meter becomes full, we fail the mission. We can click this button to abort the mission. Spies take longer to recover than the mission fails. Be ready to recall them when necessary. Let's see how well Super Maria performs in this mission. Okay. So uses tricks. It's super effective. This also kind of reminds me of that weapon shop fantasy game that I played. It's it's cute. I mean, minimal gameplay, but could be worse. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. I'm liking it a lot better than the previous one. The previous one was kind of awkward, and I, I think it's because it actually had gameplay. This is more of just like watching things go once you once you commit to them, and I kind of like that. So we completed our first mission. Yay! We'll receive more rewards if we score better grades. Let's try our best. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Huh? What's that noise? Whatever. We hit solid gold, sheeple. Look at what we recorded. Such a sensitive soul. Ian has a stuffed bunny? <laughs> I know just what to do with this. Let's make his taste book profile. Make this his taste book profile picture. That sounds slightly risky. Let's organize some training for our spies first. That was exciting. My heart is still erasing. Well, I used to be a racer. I'm tired. Can't wait to go uh, get back and take a nap in the barracks. It's a rest time. I really can't do, like, a Mario accent. The best I can do is my voice a little bit. I'm good at old man accents and crazy people voices, but that's kind of about the extent of it. Anyway, let's give her some time to rest. Meanwhile, let's prepare for the next mission. She has a high intelligence, but her other stats are pretty low. Let's build a training facility to improve her stats. Okay, so this is the build mode. Use it to arrange buildings in our base. Okay, so we can have a pile of homework. And a chuchi tunnel. A cushy crawling tunnel for toddlers. Seems like the perfect trading facility. Let's build it. Buildings need to be connected to a path to function. This seems like an ideal spot. You can use destroy and move buttons to organize our base. Path button allows us to build paths to our buildings. Now... Uh, nice. Now let's click on our next, uh, click on our spy. All refueled. Seems like Super Maria had a good rest. Now let's start our training. Okay, are you ready, Super Maria? Click confirm. Gonna get you those pesky banana, these pesky banana peels. Okay, so she's going to go through toddler stuff and... Alright. Feel much stronger now. I'm ready to take on the world and save my prince. Click on the Chuchi -chi tunnel. Okay. Probably enough for now. Let's not overwork her. Well done. Let's take a look at our tasks. Okay. So here's our main task. It's what you, we should be working on. Our side tasks are displayed here. Complete them to get rewards. So hire two spies, use the Chuchi -chi tunnel five times, and build training pile of homework. Now that you're familiar with the spy agency, we'll be leaving it in your hands. Let's get ready for the next mission. Alright, looks like that's it. Okay, no spies available right now. How much money do we have? Okay, we've got some. We might as well just uh, chuck her in the Choo Choo tunne Tunnel all five times to begin with. Can I upgrade this thing right now? No, it doesn't look like it. 
At least not immediately. Okay. So we have a new mission, Route A. Looks like we do actually get a decent amount of money for this. So sneak into G Ian's G Ian. I liked G Land earlier because then it's Glan's room and changes taste book profile picture. I think we'll stick with Glan just because it's funnier. Okay, so gadget blueprints, vehicle, and codex. Spies are ready for hire. Okay, so we can get Uncle Johnny, thief, like a true British gentleman. Domino, fighter. Okay, Deadpool reference. Uh, turns out luck is indeed her superpower. And John Lemon, mem member of the Peatles. He's not the only dreamer. Okay, well, we don't need somebody that's particularly skilled in intelligence. However, uh, I guess we could go Domino. Domino's a fighter. He's a charmer. I mean, does it cost money? Because we might want to just pick up John Lemon uh, just because he's got the best other ones. I know, uh, I'll have you know Domino isn't just a Deadpool character. No, you're right, but this design is Deadpool exclusive. I don't think I've ever seen Fro Deadpool, or not Fro Deadpool, uh, Fro Domino anywhere else. Oh yeah, what do we, what do we need for the, uh, the next mission, out of curiosity? Okay, so weak against Fist, resist charm, and we don't know anything about the mysterious guard. Okay, so in that case, we want to grab Domino. Okay, so we're just going to do Strength Camp. Okay. So that'll be helpful. The other thing we want to build is we might as well build the pile of homework. Can I just build it right here? Okay, there we go. And we can do pass. And it looks like we get more space as we get further in, into the game. Build a building, build path, destroy. Gotcha. So this this will increase intelligence. Okay. Now is that levels? How do we know energy? Do we have any kind of nope, it doesn't look like there's any kind of like energy limitations. Okay, so we're just going to Uh I guess we're gonna send in Domino. Now can you only have one spy on every mission? Looks like it. Okay, low risk, high stats, mission duration, should be fine. Good luck! And I guess, uh... Totally not Mario. You get to go that direction. Okay, so we are running out of money a little bit, but that's fine. I like this! I would actually love to see these guys, uh, more or less take on Holy Potatoes. Like, I would love to play Holy Potatoes Weapon Shop 2 crossed with the, uh, Weapon Shop Fantasy. Uh with the weapon shop fantasy functionality. Because I think that would actually be a really, really enjoyable experience. Okay, so the characters can level up. They get more stats across the board, get some money, get the EXP. Gotcha. Yeah, I even inclu included a code that prevents the photo from being deleted. He's getting a taste of his own medicine. Thank you, Rexa. Ren, you guys are so cool. Only I weren't so cowardly. Maybe I could be a spy too. You're always free to join us, when you're ready. Oh, our spy found this codex. I've been trying to figure out how to decrypt it. The beams of inspiration from above have intercepted my brainwaves to bestow upon me a great... Stop that. Just, just say I've got a... I've got an idea. We need a decryption lab. We'll have to obtain some software and blueprints, build our own computers, and cipher machines, and then start hacking... Calm down, Rexa. It's just a floppy disk. Hey! These will come in handy in our spy business. Okay, so we want to build a... Decorations. Is there a benefit to it? There's... Oh, decoration points. No, it doesn't look like it yet. Well, maybe we have a new one? Currently ongoing. Oh, I see. We're just waiting for her to come back before the mission's, like, officially done. Okay, so let's get our hands in some software and blueprints and set up our own decryption lab. Okay, so weak to fist. Weak to intelligence. Okay. So let's end that training. And wait until she's back. Uh, do we keep training her on this? It looks like there's no, there's no penalty to, to the amount of training you can put one 
singular spy through if you want to. Holy crap, this map actually might get really huge by the end of this. All right, well, I'm already having a lot, uh, a lot more fun than I was with, um, uh, with Holy Potatoes, We're in Hell. Because this really is much more of, like, a, a proper, uh, management game. Can I? There we go. We can, we can just speed it up. Because, like, Holy Potatoes, We're in Hell, it felt like Cook Serve Delicious. This is a little bit closer to, uh, the sort of thing that I, I actually enjoy. Uh, let's see. I mean, I'm just gonna spend a bunch of money. Might as well just specialize these two characters. I guess we could also hire somebody. It doesn't look like there's any upkeep problems. So we can get, uh, Kim Karboshian. Well, he's an analyst. She's a charmer. Well, I guess we're going with Kim Karboshian, even though, like, some amount of me is, is not okay with the idea of that. And let's just, uh, max out her charm. Ultra specialization! And we'll train them in other things later. Yeah, I wonder what the, uh, maximum number of, sp uh, spies I can have. I have no idea. Okay, uh, let's have her do one more round of this. And then we're probably gonna wanna- oh. Oh, we just got some, uh, some money for that. Use pile of homework five times and hire four spies. Okay. It doesn't look like there's any kind of upkeep cost, so I don't- I might not have to pay the characters. One more time. Oh. And then we're gonna immediately have to do this mission, otherwise we're gonna run out of time. Okay, end training. Hold up! Looks like we're about to run out of time for our main mission. Main mission expires, it's game over. Now hurry up and prepare for the mission. Okay, so she's done. So now we're going to, uh, nope, we're gonna select Spy. Good luck, Domino. Yeah, so we can fight, trick, and then probably fight again. And we'll work on other things. Okay, we need more people. Okay, Mew Mew the Thief. Only buys his branded boots from Mew Mew. Tony Starch, Mew Mew, and Madman. Huh, a crazy dark knight. Owns a special suit that requires ironing. Only by- yeah, we already saw that. Okay, well we want to grab Mew Mew. Uh, Barracks is full. Crap. Never mind. I guess we'll work on that later. Okay. So she should be able to just burn through this pretty quick. While we're here, um, so we might as well send these characters off for training. Let's go to two times speed just because. Okay, and we still don't know about the mysterious guard, but that's okay. Yeah, I wonder how many actually mysterious guards we run into. All right, so now we can make uh, the decryption lab. Decrypt a level one codex. Computers keep breaking down, but at least it's a start. Nice save. Can I make... Hey, cool. We can do iterative saving. Just in case I make a mistake and totally forget about my main quest. Which is not, uh, uncommon. Okay. Keep training. So she gets extra stats for that. Oh, for starters, we want to make a special decryption lab. In retrospect, I probably should have put that separate and kept all the training nearby, but oh well. Great job, we have the decryption lab now. Look at the, look, the exclamation mark symbol signifies we have a code codex to decrypt. Let's visit our decryption lab. Okay, decrypting codices will unlock rewards and new features. I'll leave it to you to decrypt the codex in your own time. Decrypt. Oh, we have to have somebody do it. Well, we don't have an immediate mission list, so we might be able to just kind of hang out and train. Okay, and her training. Decrypt. Good luck. So it does look like everything costs us money as we go along. 
So we'll have to worry about that a little bit. We've got several of these. Can you upgrade the barracks? Uh, barracks is full. I can refresh the list. Hmm. Whoa, hi. So there's a job class tree. Wink, level three, wink suggestively. Deals slightly more damage versus passerbys. Turn on the charm, slight increase your spice charm for the next two obstacles. Interesting. So there's, there's a, uh, there's effectively combo classes that we can get. That's interesting. But no, it doesn't look like we can upgrade it yet. We can upgrade the decryption lab. But no, it doesn't look like we can upgrade anything right now. Combo list. Spot list. There's a lot of just things here. Okay, so we've unlocked... Uh, the dipping bar. I have just achieved a significant mo moment of enlightenment. That just means you have another terrible idea. Hey, you haven't even heard it yet. You know what would be cool? Our own gadget laugh. I'll build the most legendary stuff ever. Bluetooth toasters, watermelon basketballs, portable holes, a whale washer. First a description lab, not a, now a gadget lab too. Wait, why do you even have to wash a whale? Build more mechanical arms. Speaking of that, we still don't know the identity of the mysterious doctor who built your arm after the explosion ran. Hey, arm, who created you? My ma gave birth to me. Ha. Huh. This is why I didn't even bother asking. Huh. Back to my gadget lab plans. First, I'm going to learn all about product design and gadget invention from Tomatoes Edison PTE LTD. It's not easy to get an internship there, Rexo. The competition's fierce. Internship? Ren, we're spies. We've unlocked the level 2 mission. Let's check it out. Okay. Hmm. Some of the tiles on the map are locked. We don't have much information about the obstacles and locked tiles. We can spend some starch to obtain intel later on. More intel will improve the accuracy of risk level for the mission. Alternatively, we can go into the mission without intel and rely on our spy's best stats. We can save some starch this way. You can also find new routes by researching locked tiles. Different routes will have different sets of obstacles. Let's do this. Okay, so... That's interesting. So start goal. But it costs 25 per. We have a mysterious guard and we have two people we don't even know about. Okay, that's all three. Mysterious guard, alert guard, alert guard. Okay, Domino, how are you looking? Not great. That was a bit expensive. Let's pause for a moment. Okay, we also have another another thing to decrypt. So let's have her work on that. We got 12 days to do this. Hopefully we get side quests at some point. Build a dipping bar and cheesy novels. Okay, so dipping bar. Okay. We're gonna send her into that for a bit. Okay, let's end training. We don't have much time. Oh, we do have some mail. Oh! Uh, so we have Addictive Coffee, Client Berry Star. Uh, that gets us some money. And Miana. Okay, so let's grab both of these. Because these are, these are easier missions that we can do. Uh, no. We want to do this one. Addictive Coffee requires Mystery Guard and that guy. What about Muana? Weak against Intelligence and weak against Stealth. Select Spy. So Super Maria is out for a bit. But this is, this is how we'll get some cash. Oh, here we go. So we've unlocked Cheesy Novels. And we want to do Muana. she can do trick and then evade and then she's done so we can do addictive coffee oh mission currently ongoing okay well in that case she can do at least another round on on strength okay and we have plenty of time and it doesn't look like there's an upkeep 
Only get now the end boss of this game can only be completed if you wash a whale. Yeah, possibly. Okay, reward received. Perfect. Get reward. 300, 300 spud bucks. Spox. Okay, so she's resting. Okay, so why don't we, why don't we do, nope. Let's do addictive coffee next, because we've still got eight, eight days. Like spy, good luck, Domino. All right, sneak attack and fight. And I'm assuming I still can't, uh, yeah, I still can't improve this. We can't click on any of these tiles yet. Okay. Can we make the, uh... Okay, so I can make cheesy novels. Oh. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Cost 500. It's still probably worth it. But we might want to do, uh, training. For now. I mean, I'll probably be fine. I mean, it looks like Domino hasn't even been challenged yet. Ish. And does she hit level 3? She does. So, more stats. Yeah, she'll be fine. Learned Roundhouse Kick. I wish, uh, I wish getting the reward from missions was automatic or something. Uh, or, I don't know. Okay. So why don't we... She's probably, she's probably fine for this. Because it's... What's Roundhouse Kick do? I don't know we're gonna Roundhouse Kick him anyway. Oh. Slight, slightly more damage versus gu guards. Yeah, that seems fair. And then we just fight these guys. Oh, is this... Because this is a level 2 guard, so we'll use the roundhouse kick against him. Low risk. Good luck! Okay, so while we're at it, uh, let's see. How are your stats? We might as well go back to training my other characters. Because, yeah, Mysterious Guards aren't... aren't a problem at all. And, yeah, I think that's supposed to be her... her... EXP bar. It... it doesn't look like there's any kind of... Okay. Spy Academy. So you can now recruit better spies. So military drill and ninja training. We can now increase the barracks. Or they might be automatically upgraded. And Toy Factory. You can now work with level 1 gadgets. So Spy Booger, Cat Paws. Playtime, let's get to work. Okay, so we can we can hire somebody new. So we can get Ling, Tony Starch. Well, we probably need Ling. As a more famous Caucasian twin brother. Funny. Uh let's see. Decent all-rounder. And we want to get more on the ninja training. And that automatically puts Ling at level 2. So in that case, we could... No, we, we'll, we'll have to wait. Because what I could do is actually uh, get rid of one of these characters. Alright, I'm probably going to stop training up uh, Kim Kardashian because... I don't... One, I don't want to have to say that. Ever. Look, I'm a little bit prejudiced against... Real life people I don't like. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of the Kardashians. You could say I don't keep up with them. Ever. Anyway. So Ling is a complete all-rounder, and a pretty good one at that. Let's stay away from intelligence. Uh, let's get the- let's get the cheesy novels down. And chuck Ling into it, probably. Let's see, why do I like Kim Kardashian? Because she re represents, to some small degree, a lot of things wrong with society. I mean, rampant com consumerism is terrifying. 